Hi guys, welcome back. All right, so today we are doing a collective, all zodiac signs, upcoming weekly check-in. I'm gonna sniff around, see what I can pick up on. Now, as, as most of you know, this is a general reading, so please just take what resonates. It's nothing to get all bent out of shape over. If you would like a reading specific to you, you can book a personal reading with me. A uh, link to my website is in the description box below. <clears throat> I will put those timestamps in the comment section for the individual zodiac signs. Now, before I switch into it, in the co in the pre-shuffle, I was I can't I'm a little stumbly over my words, so this is still continuing from the last time I, I interacted with you guys. <clears throat> I've been getting a lot of messages, so I have a hard time sorting through them. And and <laughs> okay. So well, we're going to work through this. When I was focusing on the collective, a lot of you, a lot of the zodiac signs, especially the ones that have children, there's going to be increased stress around children. Um, this will be brought to attention to you in your life and just those of you that are surrounded by them, but especially those of you that have children. Um, I feel as if the child is having some sort of stress. They're going through something or they will be going through something. I think this is upcoming. I'm feeling stress around children, ch children, uh, young energy. Uh, yeah. So, and then I was also picking up tension around like a sexual relationship, whether it's existing currently or not there's going to be some sort of relevance of this i'm just getting tension could be like fighting ten or past fighting but yeah tension with someone that you've been with been intimate with before i mean you know for those of you that that resonates for those of you that have been intimate most most people have at some point but yeah there's something going on about that as well <clears throat> then also, I was feeling very strongly this indecision, but I feel as if indecision has been going on for a while in regards to the collective energy for a lot of you. So a lot, those of you that this, I, that this message is for, you'll already know what I'm talking about because it's like two choices. There's two things and one choice um, it leads to more disappointment. And I, and for some, I feel the need to say that this could be the energy. This could be the choice that, that a lot of you are currently in. And so you're thinking about this. There's just increased mental awareness about indecision or maybe a choice thinking about doing something now, um, and I'm feeling one choice leads to happy or well, okay, I guess happiness. That's not what I was going to say, but happiness, more balance. And then the other one, it, it feels like there's more confusion, more disappointment. Now, for a lot of you. The choice that will create more balance in your life is one is the one that's the most peaceful, that feels most independent, could be kind of the more, sounds like the more lonely route, solitude type of, but I'm feeling balance here in that. So, uh, yeah, I don't know exactly what I'm talking about. That Two choices could be romance, business, some personal, I'm, I'm not sure, but the collective, there's, there's a focal point on making a choice and someone hasn't made a choice for quite a long time. And I don't feel as if they're happy in that energy for those of you that that applies. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull some cards. Let's get to it. Let's, let's, I'm long winded. So, wow. We're going to be here all night. <laughs> Okay, so let's first, start, let's start off with Leo. My Leos. 
I'm going to pull a couple cards to see the signs that will be relevant, that could be relevant to you this upcoming week. The energies, just in general, okay? Universe, connect me with the energy for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me what signs will be relevant, what zodiac signs will be relevant to the Leo, could be relevant to the Leo this upcoming week. <laughs> okay, so, um, well, you came out, Leo. Potentially another Leo, but you know, the first thing that I really thought to be honest, was you, yourself. You're going to be focusing on yourself. That's what sign is relevant to you. I'm, I'm feeling a focus, a focus on that. But uh, Mercury, you need to communicate something. So the universe is like, I, I don't know. It's, it's like you might be in a solo energy, but they're really saying that it's like you that's relevant to you this week. <laughs> And something that you need to communicate, Mercury. Mercury communication. Could be a Virgo. That, that uh, you may need to speak with. Okay. So, let's see. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So communication with Libra. So it could be a Libra as well or someone that has Libra in their chart that's relevant to you. But I'm feeling like whatever, whoever this is, this Libra, there's there's communication needed about balance between you and a Libra. Business or personal, not sure. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and now let me go. Let's. Now let's check in and see the energy around love. Spirit card pull for energy around love for Leo. Some of you may have, Aries could possibly be difficult. I don't know why I'm saying difficult. Or an Aries could create pressure in some sort of way. Good pressure, bad pressure, I'm not sure. Feels like, eh, I don't know. All right, all righty. Give me the energy surrounding love for the upcoming week for my Leos. Okay, uh, something's gonna come to your attention. Ace of Swords, Page of Swords. The communication is going to come in a little bit cold, direct, cold, to the point. Yeah, something's going to be brought to your attention. Okay, so whatever this is, the energy around love, I was thinking like, you know, my original thought was like a two-card pull. Well, we get six cards for you, Leo, for... <sighs> so... Seven of Wands, Five of Cups, The Lovers. Someone in the connection is going to be defensive, a little bit guarded and closed off because they're disappointed. They're disappointed. But you know what's interesting? I'm feeling like somebody, you know, Five of Cups, whoever the one that's disappointed may not make eye contact. Did I say this before? Did I say this in the, in the, Leo, the last Leo love reading or the Virgo one? It sounds familiar. But anyway, so not wanting to make eye looking down. Somebody's disappointed. But they might not really be that vocal about it. I'm, I'm feeling like the energy is defensive, disappointed, but not really combative. So it's more like disappointment. That's the, did I say that? Disappointment. I'm really like, okay, so the hangman, the king of wands. And the sun. I feel like, you know, it's interesting with the sun being the last card that comes out, something's going to be illuminated. Again, 
Ace of Swords, the Sun, something's coming to your attention. But I also feel as if this will have a, a the, the outcome will eventually be positive, but the energy with the hangman here, um, I'm feeling like there's a lack of clarity. There's a lack of forward movement in the energy surrounding love for Leo this upcoming week. But towards the end of the week, it could have a more a more positive upswing here with the sun. I just feel like you may understand something. I, I don't know. Or that somebody, you know, however this energy feels right. Somebody may understand something about you. Okay. Now, let's see what else is coming up. Let's just do for general. Just general. What else is coming up? For the Leos this week. This upcoming week. Uh, yeah, indecision on something. All right, what's coming up this week in general for my Leos? A lot of cards. Everything that comes out for you is a ton of stuff. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> King of Cups and Three of Cups. You'll be meeting up with this King of Cups here. The energy feels good between you and this person, whoever this is. I feel as if the outcome, you know, I, I'm getting like um, good energy between you and this individual, whatever it is that you're meeting up with them for socially or business. It could be both actually. There could be a purpose, but but it, it feels kind of fun. Or I don't know if fun is the right word, but you know, it's got a nice energy to it. <laughs> um, uh, I don't like how there's so many cards that came out. It's it, The message is a little bit muddly. So, the High Priestess, the Five of Pentacles, the Chariot. For some of you, there could be money spent on a car. But I'm also feeling like going towards, someone here is going to go towards an individual that's not speaking. Most likely driving to them, but however, through travel, they're thinking about this. This is on their mind. I feel as if this person will do this because I'm getting, because I'm feeling with the, so the, the karma card here, the queen of swords, the ace of swords, could be a Libra again. It's relevant to you. This, this, whoever this is, has something to say. Has, but they aren't speaking. Or they won't be. You will go towards this person. Or the energy may be flipped. But I'm, that's kind of what I'm getting. I'm getting like somebody going towards... Another individual that is not speaking. Five of Pentacles. But I feel as if this person isn't speaking because they, they're not getting a lot back. Queen of Swords, Five of Pentacles. They're not feeling like they're not getting a, the, the much back. So this is going to be talked about and discussed. Four of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. 
Um, if it isn't quite discussed by next week, th there will start to be movement. Because for all of you, it'll be different. This is a lot of cards. But I'm feeling very slow movement in general. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's what I'm picking up on. Let's go ahead and... Something from the past may come back to haunt you. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Okay, let's go ahead and switch over to Virgo here. <clears throat> you know, a lot of times when I do Leo, when I look into Leo, my mind is so bogged down. I feel like Leos always have a lot on their mind, a lot going on. Um, you know, but such a strong sign, you carry it very well. But when trying to read you, it's like there's so much depth in it, you know? Okay. Universe, connect me with the energy for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me what signs could be relevant to Virgo this upcoming week, please. Show me what signs could be relevant to Virgo this upcoming week, please. <clears throat> All right. So the first card that came out was Jupiter. What, what I was really kind of getting with this mostly is dreams. There's some significance about dreams. Also Pisces, this Pisces energy to me. Um, but we also have Gemini and Leo. So for some of you, a Leo and a Gemini could, could be relevant in some sort of way. The bottom of the deck there's uh, Scorpio and Venus here but it's flipped upside down and I feel very strong you know with this I, I actually have well anyway I feel very strongly that like there's there could be with Venus energy there could be attraction between a Scorpio but with it upside down there's something I don't know or a Scorpio may be attracted to you what sign am I doing Vir Vir Virgo Okay, but yeah, I'm not getting like a cooperation there in that energy. Okay, I'm not feeling it for some reason. Alrighty, <laughs> let's go ahead and see the energy surrounding love for my Virgos this upcoming week. The overall energy surrounding love for Virgos this upcoming week, please. Okay, I actually feel like most of you um, will be focused on money, Ten of Pentacles, money, family, money and family. Okay. Could be a sort of an energy of waiting in love for Virgos. I don't know. All right. Energy, please, for Virgos in love this upcoming week. <clears throat> One more card. Okay. Let me just organize how it came out. Alrighty. Well, Princess of Swords. So there's this watching energy. Someone is watching the other one. You're both watching each other. For those, you know, for those of you that have any semblance of love energy going on. Um, I am also feeling this kind of interesting dynamic between the masculine and the feminine here. Seven of Wands, Eight of Swords, thinking about someone, um, 
but being very defensive. Again, more of this energy. Are we going to seven of wands all night? Is the collective going to be kind of blocked? And But, okay, so... But for the feminine and the masculine, the three of wands upside down, I feel as if the feminine sort of feels like, I'm not waiting anymore. That's the energy of the feminine for the upcoming week. Two of wands. The masculine is trying to make a decision. Could be two choices. I feel, uh, but yeah, so the, the masculine is make, is trying to decide, but the, the feminine is like, well, I'm done waiting for you to decide. Okay, so that's that energy there. Uh, Eight of Wands and King of Pentacles. But I do feel communication coming in. Could be a lot of text messages. You may be the one that initiates communication and... Or you may be the one that has a lot to say. Take that how it resonates, but I do feel a lot of messages coming in. You could be getting messages from several different people as well. Love or not, because the first card that came out, Ten of Pentacles, so I don't actually think your main focus is love, but I do, but the, you know, the energy that is there, that's what I'm feeling uh, over there. But so, yeah, I'm getting a lot of messages in regards to other things, pragmatic things. Business. Okay, so I didn't mean to put all those away, but I guess I, I guess that's what we're doing. All right, so then, universe, show me just what else is coming up just in general for my Virgos. This coming week, just in general for my Virgos, please. So, I feel as if there's going to be, some of you could have longer hours or staying a little bit later. I'm getting a lot of stuff to do for you. It could be a little tedious as well. Make sure to check things very closely. I'm getting that there is a mistake. Someone else's mistake, but check it something closely. Eight of Pentacles. I'm just feeling that. I don't know. I don't know why. I'm just, that's what I'm getting. Somebody else's mistake, but check it closely. You need to look very close. Um, but you'll have a lot to do. Eight of Pentacles, the chariot. Some of you, there could be... Um, travel involved in work or whatever it is that you need to do. You're going to have to be going somewhere else. A lot of you, there could be a physical activity that you're putting effort into or you start to this week as well. Gym or some sort of gym training. I don't know. That won't apply to everybody, but... What else is coming up for Virgo in general this week? Knight of Swords and the World card. A sudden opportunity for travel a potential sudden opportunity for travel could be work related. Could be would, be would be a little last minute with this Knight of Swords. I am also getting like communication coming in from somebody far away. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with this Knight of Swords. The world doesn't have to be, but yeah, I am getting getting that. But like a potential spontaneous opportunity to go somewhere as well. Travel. <laughs> the distance will vary for all of you, but it'll come up kind of last minute. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and basically all I'm getting. Let's switch over to Libra, please. 
universe, connect me with the energy, please, for Libra. My hair is like tickling me. <laughs> I'm all tickled. But I don't brush it, it's like crazy. So that's what the problem is here. Okay. So connect me with the energy for Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Show me what zodiac signs could be relevant to Libra this upcoming week, please. Hold on, too many came out. Let's not let's not do this. Okay. What signs, please, could be relevant to my Libras upcoming this week? Okay. Taurus, Aries, and then Sun, the Sun card. So I, I'm actually getting from this Leo as well. I was thinking that in my head, but I didn't say it. It was it was popping out when I was shuffling but too many of them you know it's just too much but so i'm getting leo so there could be a leo fire signs will be significant or people with kind of a fiery nature they'll be showing you more more of that okay All right, show me the upcoming energy for love for Libras this week. Energy for love for the upcoming week for Libras. Okay. Prince of Wands, Seven of Swords. I feel as if someone, there's definitely sexual energy, there's attraction here. Somebody's going to be coming towards you or desires to come towards you. And, but they're, they're kind of not revealing why they want to come towards you. Seven of Swords, Knight of Wands. I, I'm just getting that they're attracted to you. That There's a sexual motivation here. There's a desire. But they're not going to reveal the real reason why they're coming towards you. If that makes sense. You might kind of know it. With this high priestess, the magician, and the three of cups. The magician and the seven of swords. See, you know, I'm getting sort of this trickiness around the energy here. Not necessarily, uh, you know, these cards aren't negative. The Magician, the Three of Cups. I feel as if, you know, thinking about another person, thinking about being with them, uh, enjoying. I, I'm getting like enjoying being around this individual. Thinking about that, <laughs> uh, I don't know, but but there's something tricky going on. The magician, the seven of swords with the prince of wands. It's almost like there's there isn't trust here. 
because the energy of the person that doesn't hold, somebody hides something. I also feel as if this individual isn't consistent. They, they kind of come and go. With the Three of Cups, I, they may date a couple people. Whoever this energy is that I'm talking about, or they're just flirtatious and social if they're not actually dating. So that's what it's, it's kind of an interest. It's a very interesting energy that I'm getting. There's a potential for love here, a newer love, a newer love for you. Whether this is brand new, but if, if it's not, it's like within the last couple of years type of thing. Um, but it, I, I keep wanting to say, will you choose it, Libra? Will you choose it? Will you choose this new love? Ten of Swords. Because I'm feeling like you still being kind of caught up in a love that, uh, a different love. A love that has ended. Feels like there was pain here. But there's new love available to you. That's what I'm feeling. There, That will be coming in for some of you. You already know this. So this is kind of confusing energy to me. All right. Anyway. So let's see what else is coming up in general. For my Libras this week what else is coming up in general yeah so you know this is either you or someone else but if you're dealing with somebody I mean like you might kind of think this person is a little bit of a player or they think you're a player I don't know or just can't sit still like not ready to sit still it's not a player it's not just I can't let that go it's like but I don't know all right Coming up in general for Libras this week. Oh. That's too many cards. I can't do that. <laughs> but these did these ones did come out very clearly. King of Cups and the Sun. So, there is happiness surrounding this King of Cups here. I feel as if this person will do something or to, to make you happy or potentially say something. I feel as if they're kind of like a positive energy in your... There'll be a positive energy for you this week, Libra, whoever this King of Cups is. They have may have a um, a water moon or uh, I mean I don't know why I said um, a a water sun sign Cancer Pisces Scorpio but I said water moon so that could be relevant as well does not have to be though this person is just kind of I, I feel as if they're they're showing you kindness here I don't know so however you interact with them. A lot of you may be, for those, a lot of you Libras that have a child, you may be proud of your child as well. They may do something. All right. Your child or your pet. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles and Six of Swords. There's an offer coming in to you. This could get, give an opportunity to travel or relocate. But I'm getting uh, an offer. It'll be like going towards like the coast, a more coastal city. There's an opportunity to go to the coast is what I'm hearing. A lot of you, some of you, this could be an invitation, but a lot of you, this could be an opportunity, like a good opportunity that could relate to future money with this Ace of Pentacles. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Six 
forward movement in creative realms as well for the Libras that dabble in creative type hobbies and career aspirations, whatever the case may be. I am so awkward tonight, but I guess that's just how it's going. I mean, I'm, I'm trying here. I'm trying. Um, yeah, so this Ace of Pentacles, something very prominent. Someone's going to make you an offer. An offer to go somewhere, an offer to do something, an offer to move forward in a, in a direction that feels, you know, has a good energy to it with this Six of Cups. So, um, you know, I, I, I good news. Sun, Ace of Pentacles, positive outcomes, positive movement forward for you just in general in the upcoming week. Love seems a little funky here. There's like not trust going on for some reason. Could be due to travel or something like that. But yeah, but the overall general energy seems a little better. <laughs> so anyway, okay. Let's go ahead and switch over to Scorpio. My Scorpios. All right, universe. Connect me with the energy for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Show me what signs could be relevant to my Scorpios this upcoming week, please. Scorpio. What signs? Okay. Cancer. Scorpio. And then air. So I feel like there's a lot of communication because air signs are, are, are very communication ruled to me. And, um, but um, air sign could be relevant to you Scorpios or somebody that behaves like an air sign. Kind of aloof. Doesn't fully express. But um, very watery though, Cancer and Scorpio. So I feel like this is another individual outside of this. The prominent energy is going to be this right here. Um, for some of you, you could interact with another Scorpio. But I feel like your energy is just very strong this week. But, uh, you know, it could be. It could be another Scorpio coming in. Um, cancer. I'm getting, like, compatibility here. Whoever this Cancer is. Friend, family. I'm just getting, like, compatibility. Communication between you and a Cancer. Okay. For some of you, of course. You could have some trouble with fire signs, though. Getting the fire card at the bottom of the deck. And it keeps kind of, I wasn't going to say it, but it kept kind of bugging me. So there might be, you know, a fire sign that's kind of... Mm. All right. Let's go ahead and see the overall upcoming energy for the week. For Scorpios. Overall upcoming energy for love for Scorpios this week. Well, okay, so you might be kind of, I'm getting this taking a time out because there's something that's totally not understood. Four of Swords. In the moon. In this deck, the Four of Swords, the Four of Swords is kind of like time out, resting, it can be healing, but she looks so defensive. So I feel as if like the feminine energy, whoever takes that on, is going through something.
somebody could be giving the feminine a hard time or i mean they, there's just a and then with this moon energy here i'm just getting a resting period because it's like i don't understand what's going on there's so much that's not being revealed uh there's so much that's unclear Okay, so the King of Pentacles. But you know, I do feel as if there's someone that wants to that that wants to be serious with you, Scorpio, King of Pentacles. And they're really thinking about this. The Empress and the Ace of Swords. Someone may express that they want or they're thinking about it. Like I said, because the King of Pentacles, I feel like he's really thinking here. But um, I'm getting an expression of or clarity on somebody viewing you as the empress regardless of if you're masculine or feminine they view you as the empress or the emperor very developed very um, beautiful i mean you you have this package to you and i had that energy in last time a lot of these are kind of repeating but so somebody thinks very highly of you and they may express like, I want you to be my empress. I want you to be my emperor or, or they're going to soon because they're, they're in this thinking mode right now. Earth signs or earth energy, regardless of if it's an earth sign or not, but the earth energy doesn't, doesn't act rashly, you know, so they're going to move and think about, but they, they want to date you, whoever this is, whoever this king of pentacles is. They want you to be their empress. And they're going to know that. So whatever sign and however this energy feels right, they want you to be the empress of the emperor. There could also be something that comes out about a mother or... Um, a wife, an ex-wife. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm getting the news coming out about a mother. Someone who's had a child before. A woman who's had a child. I feel as if she's mature. Someone other then you Scorpio okay so if you're a feminine and you've had I'm talking about somebody else besides you there could be I feel as if this person could be relevant to this king of pentacles for some reason okay so let's go ahead and see what else is coming up in general for Scorpios this week boy I'm not moving along very fast am I all right what else is coming up in general for my Scorpios? Could be a conflict or an argument in around a home or an environment where you're comfortable. Okay, so what's coming up in general? Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups, Princess of Swords. So, creative, there's a creative idea. Or I'm getting some focal point around passions, research, passions. There's something about that that's going to be relevant for you this week. Communication coming in in regards to it could be emails. But I'm getting like the passion focused. I also do feel that um, you will be in your emotions. You will be kind of, 
This is sensitive energy for the upcoming week. There's some sort of expression of love here. Even though we're doing general, I think you're still going to be kind of focusing, thinking about love. Some of you, you know, somebody could be watching you. You're watching them. I feel with this Princess of Swords, her, her, her stare is so serious. Whoever it is that watches you, Scorpio, they're very fixated on you. Whoever this person is, I'm, I'm getting this like stubborn, fixated. So I don't, I don't feel as if this individual, their energy doesn't feel like it will go away or wants to go away. They're very fixated on you. I don't know who they are because this could be anything. They could be watching you from anywhere in person on online or they could be you know looking you up i'm just there's something this is like a side thing and this might be other than because i'm getting like different love here you could be focusing on on uh, somebody else entirely so yeah i mean i mean i try to go to do the general but i'm feeling like love and stuff like that is going to be emotions that's going to be a main focus for you because I went right back to it. Right back to it. You might have an opportunity to grow and become more stable in a company or with another person. I'm getting like a business person maybe discussing with you about you growing with them or something about growth within you and they're involved in some sort of way. All right, so let's go ahead and switch over to Sagittarius. Universe, connect me with the energy, please, for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me what's going on for Sagittarius. Oh, well, I guess, okay. What signs? What signs first? I'm ahead of myself. What signs could be relevant this upcoming week for Sagittarius, please? That was quite decisive, wasn't it? Gemini, Sagittarius, could be another Sagittarius coming in. I feel, I feel, because um, with the other signs that that was, I was getting a, a, a prominence on themselves, but I feel as if like it's more potential that there could be another Sagittarius relevant to you. You may find that those of you that are interacting with the Gemini, you may kind of get along with them well. You may have uh, some things in common, some similarities with this Gemini in whatever way that you, you know them or interact, like I said. Okay, what is the overall energy for this upcoming week for Sagittarius in love? Okay, so I'm not really getting Six of Pentacles. So I'm getting some communication, but you know, you may interact or like casually communicate with a couple people, Six of Pentacles, but I don't know, the energy feels sort of I think you're going to be more focusing on Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. There's an increased um, workload of some kind. This could be work, study, increased workload. You'll be focusing on money here. Money could be picking up as well. But see, again, okay, so now I'm trying to ask about love. It's funny. The energies of these readings, they do sort of what they want. I ask and then they take me where they want to go. So let's now, no, we're asking about love for Sagittarius. With Sagittarius, 
gets work, gets money, gets something that you're, you know, uh, working on, putting effort into. But it's a little bit of a roller coaster ride here. Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. So money will be very fluctuating. Efforts from people will also be fluctuating. Inconsistencies. Five of Cups. So, yeah, I'm getting, like, inconsistent effort levels, communication levels. Five of Pentacles and Five of Cups. Potential, uh, this is feeling lonely, kind of disappointed. Someone may not be speaking you may not be speaking to someone. They may not be speaking to you. I don't know. Um, just feels a little disappointing. King of Pentacles. Some of you, uh, yeah, I'm getting like, uh, okay, so Five of Cups, King of Pentacles. For those of you that, you know, are dealing with someone, or thinking about them, they have, they actually, I want to say that they have a problem with depression in this moment. Maybe it's not a problem with depression, but they're feeling depressed. Like it is a problem for them at this moment. They're feeling disappointed. Uh, and they may also focus mostly on their work or this is you. And so cross watcher, however, this feels right. So, okay. What else is coming up in general for Sagittarius? Just in general. It could be dis disappointment surrounding an earth sign or something like that. Okay. What's coming up? Of course, Virgo Capricorn. What's coming up this week in general? Okay, too many, too many. Okay. Nine of Wands, Seven of Cups. Something is in limbo. Something could be in limbo. You might also be feeling a little bit defensive in a situation where you're not clear. Um, I, I'm getting there could be misunderstandings or just like you're just really not clear what the real issue is or or maybe there's multiple. I don't know. So nine of wands, seven of cups. You could be feeling like you're trying to work through and sort through traumas especially that linger in your mind from the past with this nine of wands energy it's not giving up but it is you know kind of he is bruised and and he's been through it you know he's, he's feeling but he's not giving up and that's i feel the need to say that again page of pentacles four of cups i'm getting um a potential Communication, an, an offer coming in. It'll seem like it'll come in out of nowhere, actually. And But then uh, with the hangman, I do feel as if it'll kind of be in lim limbo, whatever this is. So, so if it's, uh, there's no definite date, it's sort of like in... It's still an idea form. It's still forming with this page of pentacles. It's somebody giving some sort of offer could be for work or just something asking if you want to do something. Um, and it's going to come out of nowhere. But again, it's then, then it's like this opportunity comes out of nowhere and then it's like, okay, well, it, but it won't move forward. It's going to be stuck for some reason this week. So it won't move forward yet is what i want to say okay all right
Let's go ahead and switch over to Capricorn. These are so thin. They're kind of weird to try to show. Okay. Uh, universe, can I bring up the Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Show me what signs could be relevant to Capricorn cupping up this week, please. What zodiac signs could be relevant to Capricorn? Could be water signs that are relevant to you. Just popped out, but I'm going to put it back. But... Who's relevant to Capricorns? What zodiac signs? Wow, all fire. Okay. Leo. A lot of you could have a Leo coming towards you or in your energy. Aries. And Sagittarius. So, yes. I feel as if uh, around this energy, this is very lively. It's very, a lot of movement, a lot of activity, but also this is a lot of fire here. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I would be careful with this energy. I feel as if not necessary, like, because they're not all, when put together, they're not all compatible with each other. It's just too much fire. So I'm, I'm not saying, but... These signs could be relevant to you, but I think they're showing me more in energy. So just be aware of like conflicts, heated th things are going to be a little bit quicker to ignite, ignite, uh, especially in in environments where there's three or more people. I'm getting a lot of energy here. But yes, these individuals, these signs could be coming towards you. They could be relevant. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. All right, so show me the overall energy and love for Capricorn this upcoming week, please. Overall energy and love. Mm. Oh, okay, so this is, clarify this Ace of Pentacles here. Okay, the star card and the emperor. I feel as if there's this, someone's viewing this emperor in a very positive light. So whoever takes on this energy the masculine energy, but the emperor, there, there's, there's almost like a sense of duty here, protection that I'm feeling in love. It's interesting though, because this is not expressed by the emperor, but there's a two of pentacles, a little bit of a back and forth energy. Could be trying to make a decision or just like trying to keep things in balance. I feel like this emperor is always trying to keep things in balance. A little bit back and forth about what it is that they kind of want to, but this will not be expressed. I don't think. It's something that's just sort of dealt with internally is what I want to say. I don't know. Okay, and then the Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and then the Page of Swords. So there's an opportunity here that'll come in through messages Communication of some sort, but with the Eight of Wands, I'm feeling it's very virtual. It doesn't feel like it's in person. I 
And especially right here with the Page of Swords and the Eight of Wands. It could be computer, social media, texting. Somebody may want to connect. Go out, hang out, connect, communicate. But I also kind of, some of you may have a lot of responsibility with this emperor, like as a parent or a boss or have some sort of position in life where you have a lot of responsibility. So I'm feeling like you might be balancing love could be kind of a thing for you in itself because I'm getting like an opportunity for, um, could be work, some sort of opportunity outside of love. Something else that's going on. I, some of you, it could be like a certificate, a project, an offer. Um, getting like, this is just an opportunity. Whatever this is, it brings you opportunities for more and that's what your main focus is going to be so love could be a little bit but whoever it is that when that you know you interact with if you're single or not they view you highly like they see you stand out to this person so okay so let's go ahead and see what else is coming up just in general for Capricorn. Okay, so here we go with the same type of energy here. With this Two of Pentacles came out again. The Hermit. So you could be sort of feeling like being alone, spending time alone. There's something you're trying to work out, um, deal with, handle, two of pentacles. There's something that's always changing that you're kind of dealing with. And you, you just might be feeling in the hermit energy. Again, you're trying to figure something out. This could be in relation to the past. Or you're trying to deal with it. You're trying to work it out. This could be something creative. It could be related to the past, children, with the Six of Cups here. Four of Pentacles. But, you know, you've held on to this. Whatever this is, you, you've held on to it. I'm also feeling like uh, it's Four of Pentacles saving your money this week. I'm just getting that saving your money this week, staying home a little bit more. Four of wands and the queen of swords. You're, you'll be interacting with someone in a home or a building environment. This person is, is very intelligent, but they feel a little bit, I don't know, closed off. Their energy could be a little closed off this week for whatever reason. So, all right. So that's pretty much what I'm getting. Let me go ahead and switch over to Aquarius. Universe, connect me with the energy for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What signs could be relevant coming towards Aquarius or in their energy this upcoming week? For Aquarius, what signs are relevant to Aquarius this week? Okay. 
All right, for a lot of you, uh, Pisces, could be a Pisces that's relevant. Uh, and with the Jupiter energy, Pisces and Jupiter, so even more relevance on Pisces. Um, you could be really thinking about this person. You may have a dream about them. I'm getting that dream energy again. Uh, and then Taurus. Taurus could be relevant to you as well. All right, let's go ahead and see what is the overall energy in love for Aquarius this upcoming week. Somebody may want you to just give it a try. I don't know what that means. <laughs> you let me know. Okay. Overall energy and love for Aquarius this coming upcoming week. Okay, whatever it is, you're dealing with something from the past. Oh, I don't know. I'm just feeling that because when I'm looking at this, the shadow side, he's looking behind him and he seems affected. So there's, there's something from the past that affects love for you, the energy around love. Some of you, this might be illness or someone, there could be some sort of, I don't know, I'm just feeling like damage of some kind or to one individual. This could be physical, mental with the Ace of Swords, shadow side. It's like there's just something plaguing. So I, I and the moon. So there isn't a whole lot of clarity on this. You could think about something a lot as well this upcoming week. With the strength card. Yeah, I'm really kind of getting a focus on um, health or mental health for someone here. The energy just feels heavy. The, the moon, the shadow side around love. So, you know, whatever this is, it's kind of been a thing for a while. And there's never been like an understanding here. You could be thinking about this or there could be something that comes out. I'm just feeling like you know, a lot more going on your in your mind and your thoughts around the energy of love as opposed to anything really, I don't know, tangible happening. It's like, I just feel like there's something bothering you. You could be worried because you don't know the outcome or you don't, you just... You could be worried about someone you care about. I'm not sure. Or, or you're just, I don't know. I don't know, Aquarius. Okay, what else is coming up just in general for Aquarius this week? What else? Okay, so money should be balanced. Um, Six of Pentacles. So, but it's you're sort of breaking even in regards to money this week, but money is coming in, money is going out. You know, there is a constant flow type of energy. You could be waiting on something as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Okay, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, and Six of Wands came out. There could be two feminine energies that are significant to you this week. They could both want your attention or want to interact with you in regards to something. But I do, you know, I'm getting this Queen of Cups could be a little bit more distracted on something that they're dealing with or doing. Queen of Cups, she seems distracted. This Queen of, this Queen of um, Wands, I feel like is going to win your attention here or is more focused on getting your attention. Whoever they are. But I am getting like a... There's something about a team. Success working with another person or teaming up with another person. You might have to do that or you might be doing that. There will be success, a good outcome here in this. But I am getting, again, I'm getting a stress around waiting, a stress around something that could involve money or growth. So I'm definitely getting money or investment of some kind. There's stress there. But I again, Six of Wands, that's a pretty good outcome in general. So I think overall things will be okay. Um... All right, let's go ahead and switch over to Pisces. Universe, connect me with the energy for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What signs are relevant to Pisces? Are going to be relevant to Pisces this upcoming week, please? Signs will be relevant to Pisces this upcoming week. Oh, wow, that's a lot of signs. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. Nope, I can't keep all of those. Could be a lot of activity, a lot of people around you, impersonally. Okay. Okay. Cancer. Some of you could have cancer coming around. No, that's relevant. Leo. Leo energy. And then Saturn. I feel very much so that whoever this Leo is that you're interacting with or that could be in your energy, whatever this energy is, there's some sort of lesson or karma. Um, I'm, I'm not getting necessarily negative, but they're, they're attached to this somehow. That is what this person is, is going to be kind of around you. They're very karmic. Okay. So what's the overall energy in love? my Pisces this upcoming week. More cancer energy here. Okay, chariot. The tower. Clarify this tower for the energy of love. That's an intense energy here. Okay. All right. So seven of wands, two of wands, and the queen of cups. 
You know, it's interesting because you may choose to block someone or kind of protect yourself against a certain energy with the tower here. Um, because the Seven of Wands and the Two of Wands is what's clarifying the Tower. And then the Queen of Cups. So it's interesting because I'm just feeling like that you're going to be kind of protecting yourself. And that's the choice that you're going to make. You're going to actively choose to protect yourself and let things crumble. Or let something in particular crumble. You may surprise people or an individual by doing this Pisces, but I do, I feel like, you know, you're, you're here separate doing your own thing. There's not a whole lot of energy besides you. You kind of seem like you're putting up the gates here. You're, you don't feel, but you feel very protected over here at the, you're the very last card that came out, but you may make a choice to end something, to let something kind of fall. There's like shock factor here. Again, you're going to surprise someone. Or you may, you know, be thinking about this because the two of wands, seven of wands, you know, you may not have taken action towards it yet, but there is that energy here. So, okay. Um, And with the chariot and the tower, it's like moving forward towards an ending, but riding through it. Okay, what else is coming up in general for my Pisces this week? What else is coming up in general? Rocking. What an interesting situation we have going on here tonight. Anybody tuned in? I just don't know. You might be a little bit confused on what makes you happy, especially in regards to like uh, Knight of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, the Sun, Seven of Cups. You may have a lot of options or opportunities. And so it's sort of this feeling of like trying to decide what it is that I want to put my passion, my effort into. Um, you might be dabbling in several different things. Your energy is good. The overall energy is good. But I am getting like a little bit of a um, an uncertainty here on what makes you happy. Also, a lot of things to do or a lot of, you know, Pots on the stove type of deal. There's just a lot kind of going on. Okay. So, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Eight of Wands. This is a nice opportunity coming in. Feels creative. If not, it's something that you're genuinely interested in here with the Page of Cups. There's an there's an offer for this. Some of you that I I get a lot of relevance about music and art when I look into Pisces. Could be bidding or offers. So some of you may attend an auction. That won't apply to everybody. Or something along those lines. I also feel as if somebody may kind of express to you that, uh, you know, they may want to strike a deal or sort of like make something work with you. They want to work with you in some sort of way. They like the way you do things, the way you implement things. As for some of you, this person may like something you do with your hands or they may like your hands or like a, an ability, a skill you have. I, I don't know, but they do. It's like I'm hearing, I, I want to work with you. I want this. I want to make this work. So, 
however that applies. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Connecting with the energy for Aries. Show me what signs could be relevant to Aries this upcoming week, please. What zodiac signs? Ooh. Yeah, and Leo keeps popping out. Is Leo at like everybody's house? Is Leo a little social social butterfly? Because <laughs> I keep getting Leo, I feel like. Okay, so. Leo. Sun. So especially like, you know, sun sign Leos. Water. So, water signs could be relevant as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but prominent energy that's coming out is Leo. I feel like whoever this Leo is, they'll be the dominant energy around. They'll be the dominant energy for you. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, what's the overall energy upcoming in love for Aries, please? Uh, oh, this is nice. Chariot, Eight of Pentacles. Feels like um, effort. I'm just getting effort. Your main focus could be something. You could be working on a project. You could be working. Somebody may um, come to you while you're doing, while you're working on something. But I'm getting effort. That's what I'm hearing. Karma, the Empress, and the Temperance. Increased levels of commitment energetically from those that are interested in you, those that you're dealing with, if you're in a relationship. This does feel kind of committed. It feels, um, there's a nice blend. There's compatibility. There's balance going on. You may be kind of developing and, and something on your own here and that could be what you prioritize your main focus on but i do feel in regards to love it i feel growth i feel um peace in this upcoming week so that's nice i, I mean I, I feel i don't there's not a whole lot i feel the need to say about it but there could be like more paperwork that you're dealing with so yeah so the energy is okay but you know The focus isn't fully on love, but I do feel that there is effort for those of you that are dealing with someone. All right, what else is coming up in general for Aries? Um, okay, there could be disappoint. I got two things. So I think that there's, there, it could be a disappointment. Um, you could be thinking about like some, there could be like sexual disappointment actually, even though I'm just asking for general, I'm getting like, so, like a, maybe a little bit of a sexual disappointment that you're thinking about or that occurs that doesn't quite, I don't know. I don't know what that means. It either doesn't happen or I don't know, but then I 
I am also feeling that there's potential for an opportunity that could be floating around you, but you may decide that it's going to be a lot of work, a lot of burden. You may come to that conclusion. You may feel a little disappointed. So, you know, those are the two things that I'm getting very much. Okay, so what else in general? It's coming up for Aries. way too many cards. What else? You may be thinking about leaving something behind in some sort of form. I'm not sure what, what though. Or, okay. Okay, so Queen of Wands, here's your energy. Three of Pentacles. A lot of you, there's like a project or something that's in the work, something you're developing that you're working on. It feels like a small team that you deal with and that you're going to be dealing with. Page of Swords, Three of Pentacles, communication coming in about that. There could be uh, a King of Pentacles and a Queen of Cups, uh, a male and a female that are relevant to you somehow in work this upcoming week. Yeah, so uh, and potentially an Earth and a Water sign. They may... There's something relevant about work and business and money with this individual that may come to your attention. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm getting. Okay, let's go ahead and switch over to Taurus. Feel drained. My energy feels drained. All right. Universe, connect me with the energy for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me what signs are, could be relevant to Taurus coming up this week. What zodiac signs? Oh my goodness, Leo popped out again, again. Wow. So I guess Leo's just stopping in everyone's energy this week. Leo's making moves, making moves. Okay, give me one more sign, please, that's relevant to Taurus, that could be relevant to Taurus. Pisces. Okay. And then you had, um, there's going to be some significance about your, the planets in your chart with uh, Jupiter and Uranus. There's some significant shift there, is what I'm feeling. All right, universe, show me the overall energy in love for the upcoming week for Taurus. Well, um, there could be someone that's coming towards you. They may travel or they may be traveling, but I'm getting 
Uh, Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands. Something about somebody wanting to come towards you. I'm getting action, action, movement, communication about that, you or this person. But this feels like... Um, all right, what else for the energy and love for Taurus? Okay, so yeah, somebody may travel to the other person's home. Someone may come to your home, actually, Taurus. Four of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. I'm getting like communication while driving here. King of Cups and the Strength. Could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You may be trying to actually... They may try to resist you or you may try to resist them. Or that, that could be sort of a feeling or it has been. But they may actually come to your house or, or you may find yourself in the future... Uh, under the same roof as them in some way, you know, same location. Interesting. Okay. I'm getting with the strength card, the king of cups and the queen of pentacles. There's like um, a strengthening of a bond energetically could be an ending that brings this about or an ending that will bring it about in whatever way that means okay what else is coming up please for Taurus in general this week too many every time that's why my energy is so drained there could be a lot I mean it just feels like Feels like a lot of substance. It's hard to get clear, just clean cut messages here. So things could be in general for most of the zodiac signs is just not simple. <laughs> not necessarily bad, but just not simple. What else is coming up for Taurus? What else is coming up for Taurus? You might be kind of action oriented this week, King of Wands. That Knight of Wands and King of Wands. I'm getting a lot of action, taking action, being passion driven. Somebody's going to be passion driven towards you, but I also feel like the overall, the energy in general, you're going to be kind of going for things, implementing things, getting things done. Okay. Knight of Swords, King of Cups. Here we go again with this King of Cups. There's something about a water sign. They may be a little bit unpredictable to you or they come out of nowhere with this Knight of Swords. Or they will come out of nowhere. Okay, five of pentacles and six of pentacles. So we could start out slow, just in general, the, the vibe, the flow for uh, the energy and for finances. Um, it will improve a little bit, but you're kind of going to more break even. This is not a really super overly abundant week. So, or that en the energy of it. Okay. So let's go ahead and switch over to Gemini. I keep shoving it like this because they're just so thin it's just like I can't I don't know all right connect me with the energy for Gemini sun moon rising and Venus show me what zodiac signs can be relevant to Gemini this upcoming week all righty Okay, so we have Aquarius, 
You could have Aquarius in your energy or that's relevant. And then Scorpio. So two fixed energies. A lot of strong, because these are two fixed signs. I do feel as if both of these people, whoever they are to you, or um, they're both stubborn and super set in their way of doing things or who they are. So there's that. <laughs> All right, universe, show me the overall energy and love for Gemini upcoming this week. Energy in love for Gemini upcoming this week. Okay, so with the chariot and the hangman here, okay, I'm getting like a start and stop, start and stop. Somebody may all also leave the other person hanging or that's the energy. There's something in limbo. There's something just sort of like seven of swords, 10 of cups. It's interesting because I feel like someone's off doing something else, but it's a little bit unclear because they're not stating exactly what they're doing. Um, and someone, the I'm feeling like the other energy is sort of like, okay, well, it's just kind of in limbo because of that. But with the Ten of Cups, there is kind of this caring, there is this love feeling, but there's also like, I'm, I'm getting that somebody hid something from the other person or is, or there's just like, something else going on that there isn't a full understanding of. And this is like, has to do with when somebody is like traveling, when they're traveling, when they're moving, when there's physical movement, either in a car, it's like, where do you go? What do you do? What are you, there's like thoughts about this. There's some sort of kind of a weird energy. If this is making any sense, it's, Because I, I feel like there are good feelings here, but there's something that, like, somebody doesn't, like, hi, is hiding something. Or the other person feels that way. They feel just, like, what's going on? I don't know. Someone may take a long time when they go places. It's like, you're gone forever. <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm picking up. But I am feeling like... There's this like uh, miss a little bit of a question of it's like I care about you. I want to be around you. I want to spend time with you. I love being around you. But it's like I don't know where you're going or I don't know what you're doing or I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. All right, what else is coming up in general for Gemini? There could be a little bit of an argument over money or assets, funds. This could be family money or family could be related. But I'm getting like um, an argument in the family. And money could stand in the way or be a little bit of a... Uh, 
Doesn't have to be, but I am definitely getting an argument in the family. Okay. Eight of Pentacles and the Empress. Okay, so a lot of effort this week being put into growth and implementing things. This is a really nice energy, increased work, increased. Uh, this is just a nice energy for personal development, personal growth, projects you're working on. Um, the Star and the Magician, the Empress. Um, you may implement something that is a hit here or do something that really kind of stands out okay all right and there could also be something that comes to light about um, an older feminine a mother of some kind. She doesn't have to be a lot older, but um, it's just a, a more a very mature kind of motherly energy. Okay, so that's pretty much all I'm getting there. Let's go ahead and switch over to Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Connect me with the energy for Cancer. Show me what signs could be relevant to Cancer this upcoming week, please. Alright. Alright, so I have Virgo. Could be dealing with the Virgo. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have Scorpio. There's something disconnected a little bit, though. I don't know if the Scorpio, they might not be that close, but their energy could be a little bit relevant. But I'm getting disconnect or like distance from Scorpio. Um, or the Scorpio is distant for some reason. Air, air, so air signs, communication, communication with a Virgo, Venus, and then Sun. So you're getting a lot of. So, yeah, probably a Virgo, sun sign Virgo. All right. Universe, show me the overall energy in love for this upcoming week for Cancer, please. Overall energy this week in love for cancer. Uh, I feel you thinking about uh, eight of swords, four of wands. You thinking about a connection. You thinking about something over and over again. You could be, you know, with eight of swords, that isn't a whole lot of movement. So, but, you know, something is on your mind while you're at home. The Chariot and the Nine of Wands. There could be trouble moving something forward. I feel as if you are dealing with someone. The, the energy is super defensive, either for you or, or this person. I feel as if like there's been trouble in love in the past for whoever it is that you're trying to move forward with or want to move forward with or is on your mind, there, there's some trouble. You know, they're, they've had a lot of, they've been burned a lot. Or this is you, however this is relevant. But I feel as if, you know, 
with the hermit energy, you could be kind of having this solo vibe to you, spending time by yourself, focusing on growing, you know, the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. You may want stability. You may want things to be... It, it, this is sort of like thinking about what it is you want. What is going to bring more money to you? What is going to bring more balance, more growth? Um, so you could be focusing on kind of like making that happen. That could be what's on your mind. You, you might be feeling a little trapped or a little trapped by something. Like you have to, could have to do with, um, I don't know why I keep wanting to say like a car. I'm not sure. I don't know. You just might be feeling a little. I don't know. You might not be sure what to do or something like that. I, I don't know. Or how to move something forward. Because it just feels a little bit... I don't know. It might... Because I'm focusing on the... I don't get really confusion from you, but... Necessarily, so I wouldn't say that. But it's... it's Her hands are tied behind her back. So I almost feel like in love, you may not feel like you have control. With the chariot, you might want to move something forward um, here, but... I don't know. You might be dealing with some sort of defensive energy right now. Okay. So what else is coming up in general, please, for cancer? What else is coming up in general? Could be travel. A lot of you might be traveling or I'm getting movement, car, driving, just trap. Wow, that's a lot of cards. I can't take all those. Um, okay, so Knight of Wands in the world. Heavy emphasis and potential for travel right now. Especially like far. This is, this is a decent distance. I, I, I feel like it's potential, but I think you will go. I think you will take action on this. The Queen of Pentacles here. A lot of you, there could be kind of a very stable feminine energy. I feel as if they're, with this Queen of Pentacles, they just feel very stable. I also want to say that they're a little they're they're they're, they're down to earth and they're going to be relevant to you. You may travel to this person or they could be a little bit of a distance from you, but I feel you might be going to them. They may come to you, but I am sensing this energy being significant. This Queen of Pentacles. This is a this is somebody who's also financially they're financially stable. Um they may or may not be interacting with you about money. I don't really think that, but that's how you'll recognize them. They may bring some form of stability to you or they may have an idea. Yeah. Um, an idea for growth. But this may involve like a change of location or you may have to go somewhere. A lot of you, there could be some relevance. Um, I, I'm getting this again. What other, what other sign did I get this about a mother? News about a mother? Grandmother, mother? Yeah, I dropped more cards, just like most of the entire. 
I feel the need to pull one more thing. Um, if I can ever. Yeah. Okay. One more card, please. Ooh. All right. Okay, there is a potential opportunity coming in here for you. The lovers, the ace of pentacles, the magician and the ten of pentacles. This could be an opportunity to make more money. This feels very good. I, I like this here. But I, I, I feel as if somebody with this lover's card that kind of has, um, they're, they're a kindred spirit to you, however they interact. You know, there's caring. It's not only, it's not, it, even if it is business, this person is like, you know, they're doing this because they care. They might give you an offer or kind of lead you in that direction. They may offer you something that's going to be able to, Give you an opportunity to manifest and bring more money, more stability into your life. I do feel, though, that this, this may take some time. It doesn't say that, but this could be like this coming week, you could start to get the beginning implements of this or the inklings of this. This feminine is... is significant to you. I feel as if there's two feminines, one's older, one's more motherly, and then there's one that's more, uh, that could be more useful to you in, in regards to personal and growth opportunities. Okay. So that's what I'm getting. And did we do it? Did we make it? All right. We made it. We, we made it through all the signs. I am done now. Um, I, yeah, so that was kind of, a lot of energy for me there. I'm completely drained. So uh, that being said, you might you you all might find yourself kind of tired after the end of next week. I'm tired after doing this. So <laughs> all right, bye bye.